The Federal Reserve reveals whether it'll raise interest rates again and by how much. The decision comes as the latest inflation report shows some signs of relief. News 8's Hannah Mordeaux is here with insight from economic experts who, Hannah, are predicting another increase. Yeah, economists say the Federal Reserve has signaled it will likely raise interest rates by half a point today. That's a smaller increase than the three-quarter point hikes announced at the past four Fed meetings. Now, the goal is still to slow inflation, and today's vote comes on the heels of good inflation news. Yesterday's Consumer Price Index report shows prices rose 7.1 percent annually in November. That's down from 7.7 percent in October, the lowest inflation level in almost a year. The chief economist Economist for Moody's Analytics says the latest report will mean lower interest rate increases in the future, but won't have a huge impact on today's decision. Fed's going to raise rates. Uh, they signal that they're going to do that uh, and uh, they're going to stick to that script. This relieves us of the historically high and damaging inflation. And, and we have to make a slight trade off for that. I think that's a trade that many Americans would make. Economists from Bankrate.com say Fed hikes mean people have to pay more interest on things like credit cards and mortgages, but the point of them is to lower prices. The Consumer Price Index report also shows gas prices have fallen, the cost of used cars, furniture, and toys have declined, and the cost of services like hotels, airfares, and car rentals have dropped. The Fed has raised interest rates six times already this year. The key short-term rate is a range of 3.75 percent to 4 percent. That's the highest level in 15 years. Now the Fed hopes these increases will cause a soft landing and reduce inflation without causing a recession. Until then, experts say the Fed is expected to signal more hikes through next year when they announce today's interest rate decision.